The Asian Institute of Technology, AIT, in Patung Thani Province, Thailand, is today a thriving postgraduate institute. One of the world's most international universities, this green campus attracts those driven to become globally responsible citizens. Approaching its 60th anniversary, AIT has weathered many challenges. None more so than late 2011, when the Institute's very existence was threatened by a natural calamity of epic proportions. No one who lived through it will ever forget the Great Thailand Flood of 2011. It was the kingdom's worst flood in half a century. 65 of Thailand's 76 provinces were declared flood disaster zones. Millions of Thais were impacted and 815 people lost their lives. In the central plains of the country, flooding stretched endlessly beyond the horizon in all directions. And as the epic wall of water forced its way south toward Bangkok in late October 2011, a nervous Asian Institute of Technology lay directly in its path. Led by Colonel Natapong Prom Son of the Royal Thai Army's 202nd Engineer Battalion from Kora, worked around the clock for two days at AIT and were joined by hundreds of people in a last-ditch effort to save the campus. At the morning meeting on October 21st, Colonel Natapong delivered the bad news. It was time to evacuate. AIT was completely inundated. It was the darkest moment in AIT's history. The next day, the Asian Institute of Technology awoke to a real-life nightmare submerged under more than two meters of flood water. It was a catastrophe beyond belief. The Institute was completely crippled and for many hope seemed lost as the punch dealt from Mother Nature appeared to be a death blow. An eerie water world was all that remained making the campus almost unrecognizable. 50% of its infrastructure was completely inundated Vital facilities were lost, and invaluable personal possessions were washed away in the torrents. The AIT library was devastated, as irreplaceable hard copy theses, dissertations and journals succumbed to the water. So too did most of the Institute's schools, laboratories, dormitories and lecture halls. AIT's campus would stay flooded for six weeks, and its very survival hung in the balance. When the first campus survey crews, led by the current AIT president, Warsak Kadok Nokon Chai, arrived in early December, AIT resembled a post-apocalyptic disaster zone. The murky water had receded, but left behind in its wake was an epic debris-strewn litterscape contaminated by raw sewage and microscopic pathogens. It would take a monumental community effort to save AIT. Faculty, staff, students, alumni, partners and friends rallied together for the cause, picking up book after book, cleaning one room, one hallway, one building at a time. Down, but not undaunted, the flood failed to wash away the Institute's most precious commodity, its people. By early 2012, three months after the inundation, academic life finally returned to the campus. In the years that passed, thanks to the solidarity of AIT's faculty and staff, under the leadership of President Warsak, AIT has a new lease on life. The return of the Royal Thai government's budget for scholarships in 2014 enabled AIT to resume operations despite its grave financial crisis. With the support of corporate partners, alumni and friends, the first major campaign for the renovation and modernization of the library raised substantial funds. 
This freed up monies for the renovation of other facilities vital to operating the university. Renewed trust from partner countries, closer collaboration with private industry and improved academic and research output has enabled AIT to regain the confidence of its international students. Financial health brought with it steady recovery. Amenities like dorms, new retail outlets and public sports facilities and the continued construction and improvements are vibrant signs of campus life. Beautiful public spaces and new signature monuments evoke campus pride. The best evidence of this is the library, the heart of the institute. Under the patronage of Her Royal Highness Princess Mahachakri Sirindorn, who served as the honorary chair of the International Advisory Committee for the Library's Modernization Campaign, the library has been completely reinvented. Today, it is a popular meeting place. Its media centers, digital repositories, smart study rooms and open design invite collaboration, teamwork and innovation. Blue chip companies joined hundreds of individual donors to reimagine the facility as a modern digital commons suitable for tech-savvy students in the 21st century. So in many ways the campus has been reborn and the Asian Institute of Technology, a new place where dreams are born and made, has been granted a new lease on life. Faced with its biggest challenge, it has come out on top. Now, facing the future, AIT rises again to even new heights. Only this time, the sky is the limit.